Okay, so this is a hopefully quick video regarding a particular issue that I was having with my Kenmore cold spot side-by-side -side refrigerator. Uh, the problem has been go ongoing for several years. Uh, it just recently got worse and I decided to actually try to fix it. I suspected what the problem was for a while, but because I wasn't, I didn't know for certain, I really didn't want to replace parts until I had a better idea. So basically I'll describe the issue. Um, when, uh, when you set the temperature in the refrigerator, uh, I noticed that I was having to, s when you set the temperature in your refrigerator, uh, you're supposed to keep it between about 36 and 40 degrees and I keep a thermometer in my refrigerator which was indicating that uh, the temperature was starting to go up and so what I would do is I would move the slider control down and uh, just a tiny little bit and it seemed to get better but then I noticed that I had to turn it down quite a lot to the point that during the summer I had to turn it almost all the way down and then weirdly in the winter I had to turn it back up so uh, let's go over to the, ref the fridge and I'll better explain what I'm talking about okay so what you can see here is that we have the freezer control and we have the refrigerator control and the problem I was having was that I had to this is the normal setting you're supposed to put it here I like my refrigerator a little bit colder than that and but and you can see I've got day uh, months listed here so this was uh, about June through August I had to move it down to here to get the temperature of around 38 and a lot of times the temperature would dip to f almost freezing in the refrigerator and it was very inconsistent and then in May November to May I had to move it up to this around here and uh, also I had to take the freezer and move it to a warmer setting so anyways so the problem was this device this is the thermostat and what I suspect is hap has happened is whatever is in this capillary tube which goes back into one corner around the opening that comes in from the deep freeze is that possibly there's a leak or something mechanical in here has failed uh, the thermostat replacement that I ordered which said it was for my refrigerator uh, did not look the same as this one instead of having these two connectors on the side and a ground terminal on this side it had one connector on the back and one connector on the top and it was it was all different um, but I did some more research and found that supposedly it would work exactly the same so I, I mounted the, the new one which I don't have a picture of and um, it's my understanding that these two connectors which are an orange and a red wire <clears throat> and this is a green wire they don't really seem to matter so I put uh, actually I don't remember what I put I think I put whatever one was the top here on the top connector here and whatever one was the bottom on the back connector and uh, and it worked just fine it took just like I said though it took almost 24 hours for the temperature to get down to what I was expecting but as you saw with the settings they were now in the correct they're in it's in the correct range so um, I will leave a, a link in the description on where you can find a video for replacing this 
because uh, I'm I didn't shoot a video there's other people who've done that and it's uh, relatively simple and this <clears throat> this part can cost you anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars on eBay uh, anywhere else it's going to cost you an arm and a leg so that's it thanks for watching.